Hey, good morning, everybody. It is great to be back with you all. Welcome to the morning briefing this beautiful Thursday morning. It's so great to be back with you all again. Man, we have been cranking out some really great podcasts for you. I highly recommend you go back and listen to Sean Roberts from yesterday. If you want to learn about white sea bass fishing, Sean put on a clinic that was absolutely awesome. The great captain of the pride will be going with him on Tuesday night for a two day trip. But the knowledge that came out of that, if you're a sea bass fisherman or you want to learn more about how to catch white sea bass, you've got to listen to Sean Roberts. And then Tino Valentine, he just put on a clinic last night, not only about fishing, but the guy is hilarious. He should be a stand up comedian. Really good times with my great friend Tino Valentine, the captain of the Freedom. Last night we had a great, great show with him. And then on Tuesday night we had a live show with Chef Jason and he talked about how to care for your catch. He's also really up on slow pitching, so he shared some of that knowledge with you also. Take a listen to all of that. And lots more coming to you here on the Friedman Adventures channel. Again, thank you for all you're doing to help us to soar in terms of statistics. It really is something to see. All right, I got this guy back here for you. He's trying to catch a surfish. It's at the dead low. There's tons of bean clams. See them all there? Exposed because we're at the low. And there's still a lot of kelp. I can feel the water temp. It's warm in here today. So high hopes things are going to bite. High tide today at 12 noon. I might get Eddie Leland and maybe my friend Bob Gifford and see if we can't scratch up a couple of yellowfin croakers or something like that. But let's get to that in a moment because I got a lot to talk to you about. We're seeing that warm water influence, that yellowfin tuna, Dorado, and other species move up the Baja Peninsula. Some of the boys got on it yesterday. They're on it again this morning. It sounds pretty good. Coronado Island still acting very, very good. There's some yellows and sea bass here. Channel Island still great. And I hate to be the one to tell you this, but wind in our near future again. Will somebody turn the fan off? Also, some albacore information. All right, let me start you down south the border in Ensenada where the Pongueros down there continue to struggle with that bluefin tuna, as is everybody else. It's just tough fishing right now. They're trolling around with the Mad Max. You, we keep thinking any day now, all the bluefin we're seeing, and we're still seeing tons of bluefin tuna. Hasn't gone anywhere. It's over a wide area. The weather's been perfect. Water temps seem to be great to get their metabolism going, but for some reason, they're just off the bite. And as Sean Roberts explained yesterday, this is really nothing new. This happens all the time. And he said, just be patient. At some point, they're gonna start biting again. They're probably gonna follow that same path and end up out there on Tanner and Cortez. So we'll just have to see. The Pongueros there out of Ensenada are fishing a lot of local stuff now and trying to make that happen. We'll get into that in a moment, but their immediate offshore area has been tough. A few kelp starting to hold, but for the most part, it's been pretty darn difficult down there for those guys. So we want them to catch some fish. I love crossing the border and fishing with them. So hopefully it's gonna get going. All right, let's talk about the elephant tuna zone. It appears to be down there off Colonnette offshore about 50 miles. It looks like that's where the majority of it is. Some pretty good hits and the boys were just on it yesterday for the very first time, at least seeing legitimate schools. We've been talking for 10 days, about maybe a couple weeks about seeing that little bit of yellow fin. We kept seeing it, and then we caught the first Dorado of the year a couple days ago. Uh, it just indicated that we were gonna have that warm water stuff moving up the Baja Peninsula. And yesterday, we got on it pretty darn good. Polaris Supreme with 50 plus on the yellow fin tuna. That's a good hit. Other boats were anywhere from five to 15, 20 on the yellow fin tuna. Not really big scores, but this is just the beginning of it. And also, when the boys just get on that stuff, they may not be on the main body. They may locate it. And I've already heard some of those guys catching here this morning again, yellowfin tuna, and do not overlook the really nice yellowtail on the kelp patties. There's a lot of this eight to 15 pound yellows, fish up to 20, some bigger ones than that. That is really nice to see. Some really nice yellowtail. So it's not do or die on the yellowfin tuna. We're seeing enough of that move up. There's also this nice grade yellowtail. And of course, in terms of your tackle, you want to have that 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon. We love Ops in USA. Um, uh, that, that fluorocarbon 
has been working really well. Tino Valentine recommended it highly last night. www.opsonusa.com. Make sure you put in FA at checkout and you'll get a free gift or a note. I know so many of you have already done that. We really appreciate you supporting Greg. He is a great guy. So you want to have that. You also want to have some heavy stuff. Now, we're, we're you know, you're in transition, starting to fish this stuff. But I got to tell you, if you have a two-speed reel with 80 to 130 on it, bring it. Uh, you never know, okay? You're going to and fro this zone. Uh, you might run across the bluefin. They might turn on. Uh, you might be on a two-day trip and the guy gets word that the bluefin are biting and they're full speed. So diversify your tackle. Don't get lulled into this state of, okay, there's small fish now, we'll just fish that. Make sure you keep with the heavy tackle for the time being because that bluefin will inevitably turn on again. Hopefully it'll be really soon. So how about the new low ant? I mean, you talk about a good one day score and an indication of things to come for the San Diego fleet and later on perhaps for LA Orange County base boat if that warm water moves up and there's bait with it those fish will come right up here and that might be a little ways off it may happen overnight we'll have to see it's all based on conditions and feed in the sea so we'll have to watch but back to the new low end 11 Dorado nice little hit 93 nice yellowtail bunch of bonito really good fishing lots of action and so good to see that going on those flatheads they're a warm water species. They're great to eat. They're acrobatic, colorful, gorgeous. Get your photo ASAP because they'll lose all their color fairly rapidly. But that's all good signal and sign. And as I said, they're biting again this morning. Don't have the big numbers for you. You'll be able to follow that throughout the day. And then, of course, anything really big happens, we'll be doing a news update for you here on Friedman Adventures and trying to keep our eyes in closely monitor this because it is really good. All right, so you you hear all this about the oceanography getting warm right now and you think albacore. Okay, Friedman blew it again this year. I'm used to blowing things, so I don't, you know, if I blow another one, it's just another one I blew. No big deal to me. But we've seen these scenarios before and we have that scenario right now for you. We have that warm water in some areas, but off in the outer banks, we have that perfect albacore water. And there's been a guy who's gone through there. He caught some of those big oceanic bonito. And I've, I've been on albacore boats for a lot of years. And catching that type of bonito out there is very common during good albacore years. The water temp out there about 64 degrees, copious amounts of anchovies. My friend Mike Juan sent me an article yesterday that I read. There is so much anchovy in Half Moon Bay that that you, you drive by on a boat and you see birds and they just literally got anchovies hanging out of their mouth. And I point that out because we haven't seen a lot of that around and that is the kind of a magnet that can suck those albies into the west coast and perhaps get that migration downwards. And the water is so important, the oceanography, it looks really, really good. The clock is ticking. You know, July 4th was the traditional time when we would catch albacore. So we'll keep our eyes on it and see what indeed is going to happen with regard to that. All right, time to talk islands. And I will start you down at Todos Santos Island, where we're seeing some pretty good yellowtail action, a lot of barracuda, calico bass, pretty darn good fishing in that neck of the woods right now. Saying hi to my friend Valentino, who's going by. Uh, so that is progressing down there. Some of those Ensenada guys of Mirada Ponga can fish that, as well as the coastline, which is also productive. Coronado Islands, hey, time to get your passport. I hope you got a passport because the islands are starting to chew now. You have the offshore developing in San Diego. We're excited about that because we have a July 22nd trip on the Malahini. You can sign up for that trip by going to malahinisportfishing.com, and I highly recommend you do because it is progressing beautifully down there. But the islands are great. And yesterday, the San Diego out of Seaforce Sport Fishing, I think he had, what was it, 12 white sea bass, something like that. And I said, well, don't expect too many more white sea bass because, well, because you don't see them that often in the Coronado Islands. Years ago, we made squid there, caught sea bass, halibut, everything. Well, of course, I was wrong on that one because the San Diego comes right back and gets 24 white sea bass. A lot of that's on a fly line sardine while you're fishing for yellowtail. It sounds like it's mostly, you know, 10 to 15, 18 pound fish but pretty darn good 
24 on the white sea bass and i am stoked to see that awesome fishing for many of the boats there they're catching yellows they're catching barracuda they're catching calico bass the san diego's been plunking out that sea bass bite so not a darn thing wrong with that we'll keep our eyes on it moving up here uh, in fluorocarbon definitely you want to fish that i'm not saying because greg brown and offset i'm saying it because i want you to catch fish okay there's guys getting bit on mono too but fluoro the resistance to abrasion and the fact that we all believe you get bit better on it so whatever kind of floor you like or want to use i highly recommend you do that it will make a big difference in your life when you're fishing that stuff so nice hit there for the san diego um taking a look uh at catalina island nice day on the pursuit yeah gus had a great day out at the island he had 10 yellows and a lot of action a lot of short barracuda and calico bass keeping some fish also just constantly in the action yesterday maybe cat is finally going to settle down conditions over there have been really poor and that has been a headache and unfortunately as i said we have some wind in the forecast i'll get to that in just a moment yesterday the freedom and of course when they arrive back to 22nd street landing tino valentine came up and put on just a great show a great freedom adventures podcast he is so fun to have on the show he was talking about sea lions being a problem over there and how many more yellowtail he thought they would be able to catch he ended up with 14 yellowtail yesterday nice grade a lot of that like that you know 15 to 20 pound stuff some of it bigger than that so that is really good news and hopefully that's going to continue to head in the right direction tino said that they lost two times that many fish yesterday tackle bring proper tackle don't fish that yellowtail with anything less than 40 pound change your bait every minute is what he recommended a butt hooked hot sardine is the best way to get it to go you make your cast put it in gear take a wine and freeze pull it and that dean will get out and away from the boat where it is getting bit best so the heavier line the fluorocarbon working best and it was that fly line bait that got most of the results on those yellowtail at the island they were fishing and i'm not going into that because most of you know but i'm not going to be the guy that screws that up so uh, once again some pretty darn interesting stuff going on the thunderbird had four yellowtail yesterday mostly 12 to 15 pounders and a gorgeous big croaker a 45 pound white sea bass and a mix of all that other stuff also so some pretty decent fishing going on all throughout our islands now with catalina also getting into the picture i'm happy to see that that is for sure uh, up in the channel islands area still superior white sea bass fishing going on a lot of guys not even reporting it because they're trying to keep everybody else off of it mirage had 56 white sea bass on a great trip here recently and the usual suspects endeavor pacific dawn those boys they've been putting the wood to them uh, along the beach even the island spirit with sea bass or actually went out to the islands and had some fish so man it's really good up there uh, you're fishing that sea bass many times in a running gun fashion in other words you're going from sonar mark to sonar mark and the captain's saying all right i got fish on the starboard side get ready and then you'll drop sometimes it will be with a sliding egg sinker you know a half ounce if you're in short water uh, a lot of times you see these fish on the surface milling around and then other times a 10 ounce 12 ounce torpedo sinker and boy i'll tell you they've been all over it. that channel island fisher i gotta tell you those guys have a lock on it for the past several years it's great most of the crews up there have this customer service at the apex and so they're doing a really great job out there and we love ventura sport fishing tucker mccombs the island spirit the california which is the old matt walsh fish in the local areas cody on the island steve on the california great stuff 805-676-3474 tucker sold out on the endeavor but those local trips you can get out and catch some sea bass now and they also hammer out some sand bass, calico bass, barracuda. We'll keep our eyes on that for you very, very closely. Up there out of Santa Barbara, really good rockfish. They had a couple of sea bass in their count also, so they've been doing really, really well out at the islands on the bottom stuff. And at times they can get into the sea bass. If you want to do that, I'm sure they'd be happy to put you on some sea bass. It depends upon what the group wants to do. And Patriots sport fishing up there out of Avila Beach. As usual, just, I mean, some of the best rock fishing you can imagine up there 
definitely worth a drive to go up there and experience that gorgeous coast as you leave and come back and some prolific rock fishing. It certainly is a lot of fun. All right, let me take you now to the coastal region and then I have the surf to cover with you. So coastal region overall kind of hit and miss right now. We keep going backwards in our conditions. The water gets warm, the sand bass start to bite and then it kind of peters out on us. Down in San Diego, down in that neck of the woods, short calico bass, um, some legal fish also, rockfish, whitefish, sheepshead, same thing as we move you up there to Dana. Here in the LA Orange County area, we've been suffering from poor conditions, but the victory on the Long Beach sport fishing, he is just consistently after a bite and working really hard at it and coming through on a regular basis. The victory, 32 guys yesterday, 106 sand bass, 10 calico bass, limits of sculpin. So that's darn good fishing and really putting the effort in for the local bass, that's great to see. Nice hit for them, and they also have that limits of sculpin, so people got fish taco material for the 4th of July, or actually before that. Nice to see that. Other guys, Enterprise, out of Pierpoint, some other guys are picking away at the bass also and doing well at times, so hopefully that's gonna continue. And at the very least, you can catch some sculpin. We did have some wind, it knocked conditions down, they're improving, hopefully it'll get back on the bite, and it certainly did for the victory, not a bad day at all. Uh, up the coast, uh, Marina del Rey, Redondo, a little bit of bass, a little bit of sea bass every once in a while, rockfish, same thing as we move you up there to the Channel Islands, sand bass, barracuda, not much, a little bit. Some of the guys like the Islands are heading out to the islands, getting a piece of this white sea bass, but overall rockfish for the most part up in those neck of the woods. Surf fishing, water's warm. Guy behind me hadn't caught a thing as we're on camera here but I'm not putting any pressure on it. It's the dead low right now, and uh, I like that high tide. So high tide today at 12 noon, you got plenty of time to do this. 12 noon, I like to fish from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I like that four hour window. If you can spare an hour in that window, you know, digging up some sandworms, fishing with that, getting some ghost shrimp down here at Big Fish Bait and Tackle, good way to make it happen. Corvina are definitely in the, in the, in the mix right now and they like uh, natural baits for the most part. Some spot fin croaker taken down here in Bolsa Chica. I continue to see that. My friend Fish, he keeps getting some really nice big ones and he likes fishing sand crabs and some ghost shrimp and those sandworms. Man, I'm getting tempted. I'm talking myself into this right now. There's been also some yellowfin croaker taken on crocodiles. You know how much I like to do that. Toss a crocodile. We don't hear those white birds this morning. But when you hear those white birds and they get like really excited, uh, that's because they're on bait and that's uh, an indication that there's something pushing it up. And it can be halibut, it can be elephant croaker. You definitely want to get over there, make a cast and see if you can't pull a fish or two. Long Beach, a few halibut up in that neck of the woods. Not a lot of legals, a lot of shorts up there. And then as we move you up to Topaz Rock Jetty, some uh, Corvina up in that neck of the woods as well as some yellowfin croaker off of the El Segundo area down towards San Diego. Same thing, just kind of picking away at all those types of fish. All right, everybody, uh, I need to talk to you about wind right now. Looks like we're gonna have it starting Saturday um, and it probably is gonna be a big pain in the neck through Tuesday. Uh, it will affect that yellowfin. These are forecasts. If it plays out like the forecast says, hopefully it won't, the forecast, so there's some error here involved. It will affect the yellowfin area, it will affect the islands, it will affect the Channel Islands. So the fan is still with us and still being a big pain in the neck. But for the time being, optimism reigns here at Friedman Adventures. Dorado, Yellowfin Tuna, Albacore, will they show up this year? Some decent surf fishing. Yellows at Catalina Island, Tino Valentine with a great report. White Sea Bass Seminar with Sean Roberts and so much more to get excited about. There's a lot going on, and I can't thank you enough for taking time out of your busy morning this morning to spend some time with yours truly. Thanks, everybody. Please give us a like while you're here. Smash that like button. Leave a comment if you like. I try to answer them all in due time. And once again, thanks for making us so darn great. People will send me messages and say, your mic didn't sound good. Um, you can improve this way and all of that we appreciate okay that's only making us better that, I don't take that as negative at all I take that as you taking time out of your day to help me and I really appreciate it. 
Have a wonderful day. Can't wait. It's almost America's birthday, the 4th of July. We'll be celebrating right along with you. And take good care of yourselves. Anything else happens today, Freedman Adventures will have it for you. Have a great day, my friends.